you guys, welcome to another healing. Basically today, I don't want to do anything prepared, but I just want to talk off, off the bat. I just came from like, lying in the first day of spring, it's fine, it's like mid-May almost, and top off, so excuse me, but I've just, I've just been waiting all winter for this, but I've got red cabbage, I've got pat koi, I've got a handful of carrots, I've got broccoli, I've got a bit of pepper, I've got a few small radishes just to add a bit of flavour, kind of gives a bit of pepperiness, and a beetroot that's really sweet, and I'm just going to make a juice and drink it like, and when I don't have a juice I feel really, really, really heavy, like I have just no energy. For how it tastes, this is like so good for you, like you just, it just, it's just a natural high. And, I mean, I wouldn't drink it to be honest otherwise, but now I'm having to start to like it to be honest. I'm surprised, I'm surprised, you know. And the cancer survivors, they all say the same, like, I mean, some they go through chemo, but the people go through naturally, naturally, like, fire cancer and like really bad chronic illnesses. I mean, they're drinking a lot of this stuff. This stuff is so alkalizing. It alkalizes the body, which gives you energy. Alkalizing is like equals energy, vibrance, health. Like acidic, which is like white bread, sugar, oils. Too much meat of the wrong quality. Then you're gonna get, you're gonna be ill. You're gonna, you're gonna have crap to happen to you. You know, most people are acidic. That also takes into consideration stress, that's also really acidic, acidifying. So, what do I have to say? I'm gonna make a green juice, I'm gonna get it down me, hydrate myself, do what I normally do, and fuel myself so I have even more energy for the rest of the day. <sighs> I've got one tip, the broccoli, well, I get fresh broccoli, and the top, I just steam it, like in a bowl with like just as a salad and then the stem no one wants to eat the stem it's so fibrous juice that and that way you don't waste all the fiber or goodness in the stem it really bothers me like some people like all vegan and like they're super healthy like they're, they're preaching veganism or something but they let's say they just eat hummus and crackers the whole day and bread, you know? Like, stop preaching like your diet, like when it's crap, you know? When it's, it's an anomaly, how you're healthy kind of thing. Or like when people eat just fruit, and you know fruit's fantastic, and I won't have a go at fruit, but when people just eat fruit, and don't eat any, ve any vegetables, any vegetables, so they're preaching health and they eat no vegetables. Just just fruit or just bread or some or just like or they're vegan or vegetarian and drink loads of beer. Like come on guys. So put this all in the colander. Remember, in the shop, in the supermarket, they spray like a lot of things so it keeps really well. And like, there's a lot of pesticide residues and vegetables, so just don't be lazy. Don't want to prep this video, this is just what I do every day. Simple, okay. I can't tell you how annoying it is to clean this like this pulp dispenser. I mean, they just have so <laughs> the corners are so deep. But the plastic bag, it just takes seconds. And what a way to use old ones! 
there's a lot of waste when you juice with like all the pulp and fiber but you can actually make a load of cool recipes which if you check out my other videos you'll find so for instance like dried crackers or vegan cakes it's so important to try to get rid of all the scum because like the pulp gets stuck in like all the corners and if you really want to prevent like E. coli, food poisoning or something happening then like it's really key to scrub and then just generally also just I wouldn't recommend using a dishwasher uh, working having like my own coffee shop before like reading so many instruction manuals for like like these plastic kind of like fruit food machines I mean they always say never dishwasher so just get some hot water and scrub Remember action! Take action! I watched so many videos, I planned for so long to do this, but I'm finally doing it and it's great. So juice just juice 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 and don't think anything. Just do it. Remember, don't be shy, just put everything in an experiment with yourself and loads of vegetables, fruits, whatever. I put a lot of cabbage in because it's like really good for the for digestion and for the digestive system, for ulcers, for any kind of problems in the guts. You know what, it's really alright. This is the beetroot and the carrot makes it. The beetroot and the carrot, they're both sweet and they've got like, they kind of got like a sweeter flavour. You can put it into sweet recipes and you can get whether they, in fact, it makes the recipe. So like, definitely stick that in the juice, otherwise it's really hard to, to drink. Like, but, and also to drink it really, it's got to be drunk really fresh, otherwise it starts to get really fermented a little bit. But once it's fermented, I mean, it's like, it's like torture to drink it, because it's, it's like fermented vegetable juice it should not exist. To like. So just drink it straight away. And when you drink it straight away, it's actually really, really, really alright. <laughs> really alright. You know what, it's actually good. You know what I'm going to say, it's, it's really good. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Juice, juice, juice.